Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kai here from Tic Tac Toe. And in this video today, we are going to showcase a product that we have received from Monster X Gears, which is a gaming headset called the Monster X Wyvern. This video is also in partnership with the awesome Tech360 TV. If you have not caught them, if you have not subscribed to them, check them out and give them some love. And I just want to say a big thank you to the team in Tech360 TV for reaching out to us. All right, some disclaimer. Prior to this video, I have not heard of Monster XGS company. You just have to excuse my ignorance on this one. But we did a little read up on them and they are a Singapore based gaming accessories company. Check out their website over here for more gaming peripherals or accessories. And of course, hashtag support local. Now on to the gaming headset. Now gaming headsets are of course primarily used for gaming, duh. But these days, because of the rise of virtual meetings, gaming headsets has doubled up as virtual meeting accessories. And in that regard, I will put this headset to the test for both gaming as well as virtual meeting. Today, I will be singling out three big factors in using a gaming headset. Of course, we are going to talk about the build quality. And of course, we are going to talk about the audio quality. And last but not least, the mic quality. First, let's look at the design. Now, at first look, there's nothing out of the ordinary. It looks like a normal wired gaming headset. But at a closer look, you can see that the ear cups over here is rather large. Large sets of ear cups, which I totally welcome because these, they play well with my large sets of ears. The ear cups are impressively comfortable for a gaming headset, which I really, really appreciate that they did and designed something like this. I've also got to be honest, at one look at the hinges, I was a little bit skeptical because I didn't know how much of a tension it can uh, sustain. But playing around with the hinges, it's retractable. And the build quality, just judging and touching and handling from these hinges, it's really tough. And the clamping force that the headsets have, uh, by the way, clamping force is the pressure that the headset exerts, which you can feel around on this part of your head, right? The more the clamping force, the more uncomfortable you might feel because it just compresses your head and probably turning you into a piñata over time. And of course, this clamping force, it will influence how long the headset can sit on your head without you complaining or bitching to have nausea and headaches. And so far, it has been a delight. This has been sitting on my head hours and hours on end. And of course, I think this is largely due to the smart design of the headset. Number one is the retractable hinges. Number two, you can swivel the ear cups quite flexibly. So love the design. I thought this is brilliant and really good job to the people in Monster Gear X. The top part of the headband here is made of pea leather and it is comfortable and plushy. On the left side of the ear cups is also where you can find the mic. This mic, it is fixed so you cannot remove it, but it does swivel for almost 180 degrees. The mic is a gooseneck mic, which is of course flexible. And I love that it is long enough that it can reach just right in front of your mouth. Now, because this is a wired gaming headset, of course you can find the remote control module over here. And on the remote module, you can see several buttons. Number one is the mode where you can toggle uh, whichever mode that you have set it for. You have your volume increase and decrease. ENC, this is a very important feature because the only way to turn on your noise suppression, your background noise suppression is by clicking this button on or off. If you do not click on this, then you cannot have the ENC mode on. LED will be the light that you want to control on the ear cups. So if you press it, it just turns off or turns on. Uh, you also have the mic muter over here, or if you want to enable the mic, you can 
just toggle on this button. And lastly, that the wire is connected to the left ear cup. All right, the cable is connected here. And the other side of the cable, it terminates to a USB-A, which you insert into your PC. Overall, I think the build quality is really good. It really feels durable almost almost built like a tank and if you ever drop this i don't think you have to worry i also like that it is light which adds to the overall comfortability when it sits on your head okay enough on the design let's talk about audio quality i tried listening using this headset on gaming on movies uh, as well as music considering that the price is 149 dollars uh, the sound quality is quite good but if you are used to listening to good audio sounding headphones such as the Sennheiser HD650, the HD600, the Grado lines, the good sounding Bayer dynamic headphones, I think you need to manage your expectations over here because this headset, they are not, it is not those headphones. A little bit more on the sound quality. When you are playing games, you can hear nice gunshot sound effects, very full ones sword swings when you're playing Witcher or when you are playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Sword swings sound very full. Uh, overall, nice depth and separation on this headset as well. But the only thing I feel that is lacking is the bass response, uh, which I feel that it is not punchy enough. But then again, this is $849 gaming headset, which I have to keep reminding myself. What I also like is that it produces very big sound. Uh, this is probably because of the 50 millimeter driver that it uses and it does not shy away from amplifying volume. So if you are listening to this while playing games or when you are listening to music or uh, when you are watching shows or movies, just take note that do not crank the volume all the way up because it might damage your ears. And the impedance level on this headphone is quite low so you don't have to drive it very very high up all right if you do not like the default sound signature from the headset you can customize your sound signature further how you first need to go to the website the monster x gears website look for the monster x driver over here and download it and install it and after that you can toggle a little bit more to just see what you like right after installing the driver you can open it up from your system tree and over here you got some things that you can toggle for example your axis surround this is your virtual 7.1 surround uh, virtual sound you can also add in that dynamic bass okay this is the one that i was talking about because i feel that it, the bass response is not so punchy i've enabled this and you can also play around with the equalizer Okay, there are a few presets over here that you can choose but as for me i don't really like to turn on all of these virtual sounds because uh, in my opinion it can sound a little bit synthetic a little bit too digital or fake at times and this is not just on the wyvern this is gaming headsets overall so whenever you turn on the 7.1 surround sound mode uh, usually the audio gets a little bit compressed and they introduce this I don't know what it's called but it's a layer of very annoying audio that just makes the sound uh, audio experience not to my liking so i've also toggled some of these settings i uh, just want to share with you this is my setting which i feel sounds the best for me number one i go to sample rate and i turn on 96 kilohertz at 24 bits and then next i go to dynamic bass and I had this turn on and I just set the bass level to 1. The last one that I turn on is the X here surround max. So when I turn this on and when I'm gaming, especially on shooting games, what I've experienced is that uh, you have that added rumble to your gaming sessions. That rumble could enhance your sound effects in your games, uh, especially on bullets, on uh, machine gun effects, on your rifle effects. Whenever you're shooting, there's that bit of very nice impact sound uh, which i really really enjoy the other settings on this i do not turn it on because like what i said it can sound a little bit too synthetic 
All right, as for mic quality, this is of course, it works for both gaming as well as virtual meetings. Let me give you a sample of how it sounds when I use this in virtual meetings. So I'm just going to power on Microsoft Teams and let you guys listen to how the audio quality is. Now I am on Microsoft Teams with the Wyvern gear headset on and whatever audio that you are listening to comes straight from the mic system of the Wyverns. And this audio is unprocessed. This is raw. I've not enabled the ENC mode. This is straight up raw audio coming straight from the mic. So what do you guys think? Huh? Okay, one thing to also note is that there is an ENC mode. ENC means environmental noise cancellation. So that means if you turn this on, the software, the driver or for this headset, it can help you to suppress any background noise that might be happening. For example, fan breeze, for example, I don't know, people who just the vacuums and they shout across the room for no apparent reason that could help with that. Okay, now it's time to test the ENC mode, the environmental noise cancellation mode. From this point on, whatever audio that you are hearing comes straight from the mic system over here. And this is unprocessed, this is raw. Right now, the ENC mode is off. At the same time, I have my left fan and my right fan blowing straight into my face. So you can probably detect the uh, fan breeze. I'm sure you can hear. Also, to turn on the ENC mode, the only way is to use the remote module over here, this button, ENC. This is the only way to enable or disable the ENC uh, mode. Also, on the software driver of the Wyvern headset, you can further customize to how much you want your voice clarity to be and how much noise suppression you want it suppressed. Because in most cases on noise suppression, it does tend to mess up with the clarity of your voice quality. So by toggling or by increasing this level, so this is like a makeup gain or to uh, an offset so that your voice can become a little bit clearer. Below here, the noise suppression levels, this is how much you want the background noise to be suppressed. The higher you go, the higher the noise is going to be suppressed. So if you are in a very noisy background, uh, the recommendation is to turn this all the way up to 20. All right, let's first turn on the ENC. All right, over here you can see that the ENC is turned on. Now, whatever you're hearing is with the voice clarity level zero and the noise suppression at zero. I don't know whether you can still hear the fan breeze or not. Uh, we'll just have to listen to that later on. All right, just to make it a little bit more fun, I have my vacuum, my Samsung vacuum here. So I'm going to turn this on. And I'm just going to set it back over here. All right. So now the voice suppression level is at 20 and the voice clarity is at 6. I'm just going to turn off the ENC just to show you guys how it sounds. So right now, the vacuum is at the back, it is on, and the ENC level is off. It is totally off. All right, no ENC on this one. And let me just turn it back on. This is with all the bells and whistles turned on at max. And I'm just going to read the excerpt again. And then on the ENC and then off the ENC. The Ministry of Health has confirmed 10 new COVID-19 cases in Singapore as of noon on Tuesday, 1st December, it taking the country's total to 58,228. Now, how about that? What do you guys think? All right, we've done all the tests that we could do and I just want to give my verdict. I think I like this gaming headset. Well, number one is of course the build quality. I think it is really, really tough and it gives you a peace of mind to wherever and whenever you want to place this at, you can just drop it on the floor and not care about what's going to happen to it. I think that is great. I like that the gear cups are very big, deep and spacious, especially for big sets of ears on mine. 
It's really, really helpful for very long gaming sessions. And the engineering that goes into it, the Swively ear cups, uh, it really helps. You know, during your gaming sessions, you might probably not turn on the aircon and then your ears starts to get warm. Now, because of the Swively ear cups, you can just move it like that. So you get a little bit of air that goes into your ears so you can let your ears breathe a little bit. I think that's very, very smart. Uh, the audio quality, although I prefer something which is a whole lot better, uh, that's probably just because it's me. I'm too used to having like, you know, audio quality sounds like on the Sennheiser HD 650 or those Grado headphones that I have. I'm too used to those kind of sound signature where it has very, very good meets. But again, for $149 headphones, this sound pretty good. The audio direction also plays a very big part if you are in an FPS shooter or if you're playing, what is that game? Oh God, PUBG. <laughs> yeah, if you're playing PUBG or you're playing uh, Fortnite, right? Because all of those games, uh, having to know where your opponents are coming from, audio direction is pretty critical. This helps with it. Lastly, what I am super impressed with is the ENC technology that goes into the software as well as the hardware. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the sound quality of the mic. I think it's good especially for your virtual meetings or when you are gaming and you are doing all of your communicating with your teammates, you do sound crisp. Uh, there's not a lot of boomy or muddy sounding. Right, I was impressed because the top end and the mids, they are quite nicely defined. And I did not expect the mic to have that sort of performance. And then lastly is the ENC. That's what you could hear just now. The test, I was testing with the vacuum at the back and wow, having it set to all the way to 20, it does help with the suppression. So if you don't have a gaming rig that has an RTX card, all right, which can give you NVIDIA broadcast, which leads to better background noise suppression, this will do just fine. And again, I did not expect the background noise suppression to do that well. Even at the lower settings, you could hear that when I turn on the ENC, it totally cancelled out the fans that's over here and over there it totally cancelled out and you could not hear the breeze at all. So yeah, very, very impressive. And you could probably compare the ENC uh, technology to that of the ASUS. The ASUS has a noise cancellation technology which sells for $99. That's $100 without the headset. This is $149. It comes with that technology. So all in all, I think with $149 to spend on a gaming headset, you get some very, very good features which you need for all of your gaming needs as well as your virtual meeting needs. So for this, I'm giving my fullest recommendation. Wyvern, $149, get this if you have that kind of money to spend on. And the only thing that I feel it can do better is the base response. Uh, it'd be pretty good if it has a very tighter much punchier bass response that will give the overall body of your audio quality a little bit more pleasing to sound to and is something which I truly enjoy. So you know where to find them. Uh, the links are at the description box below. Do check them out so you can yep, just get this for yourself. All right, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, remember to hit the like button. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button to get notified whenever we post a new video in this channel. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.